Hello. It was the duels of genius invocation TCG that allowed our hearts to bond. It's understandable that or Shut up. So, playing genius invocation TCG fosters some sort of a telepathic link between players? Hmm, somehow Pylon doubts that. <laughs> anyway, if you'd like to know anything about Genius Invocation TCG, then please ask Shuyan, uh, who will ask Prince. Though I'd love to explain more myself, it's time for my daily walk. I'll let Prince play a game with you and walk you through all the rules. Just as a seasoned warrior can foresee the path of his opponent's sword, so too can I, as a TCG master, predict my opponent's every play. It would be improper to pit a newcomer to the art of the card against one such as myself, and I must therefore politely decline. <clears throat> That's what Prince said. Oh, Prince doesn't want to play with us, huh? Fine, then Prince doesn't have to. We'll play you instead. I'm sorry, but from the day I met the mighty Cardmaster Prince, I swore an oath that my hands would live solely to hold the cards and not to play them. I will never play hey, another, another match of my own again. Hey, Prince, can you play with us? I swore. I swore on an oath in the hands. If Prince is unwilling to play, then I guess we should look for an alternative. Hmm. How about this? Diona! Yeah, blah, blah, blah. What is it? I'm pretty busy over here, you know? Why is it that every player that sets foot in here to play Genius Invocation TCG has to have a drink? Ugh! Don't they have any clue that the key to playing a game is the ability to think straight? <laughs> Seriously, games and drinks don't mix! Don't they get that? Ugh. What can I say? As the tavern owner, I can't help but feel happy to hear this. Anyway, I see you've been working hard, so I thought you could use a break. So, why not come over here and teach these customers the rules of genius invocation? Ha! <laughs> yeah, what kind of break is that? I'd rather not. Hm. Oh, why are we letting all these loafers come in here to play genius invocation TCG anyway? All it does is encourage more people to come to the bar for a drink! <sighs> you know, if drink sales keep going up like this, pretty soon Mondstadt's alcohol industry is gonna reach new heights! <sighs> Looks like my first step in destroying Mondstadt's alcohol industry should be stamping out the spread of genius invocation TCG! My dear, you are quite mistaken. You said it yourself, a clear mind is necessary to win. Soon, their thirst for victory will overcome their thirst for alcohol. Prince speaks the truth, Diona. Not only is the spread of Genius Invocation TCG no obstacle to your goal of destroying Mondstadt's alcohol industry, it could even support you in this endeavor. Could, could it really? Sure, why not? Alrighty then, our two customers are waiting to learn. Shuyan, let's put you on drink mixing duty for now. But Shu Yen is destined for a far greater purpose. Shu Yen, drink mixing now. Oh, okay. Ooh, all right. 
We'll need some space to learn. <laughs> Let's go to that empty table over there. <laughs> Let's finish this swiftly. First, we roll eight elemental dice at the start of every round. These dice correspond to elemental energy. We'll be spending these dice to perform actions. Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> After you end round, and once everyone chooses... game of genius next up When you deal cryo damage, you'll cause your target to be affected by cryo. Bro, 
what's happened. I'm so curious. Baby, Yeah.
<laughs> Next up, let's learn how to use card types other than character cards. These cards are all known as action cards. Each time a match starts, you... TCG. Keeping up a constant flow of combat is much more important than the number of cards you have. Now comes the final part. Oh yeah! In a real match, you can make adjustments to your initial hand.
parang na hindi ko At this time, we can select any number of cards in our hand to shuffle back into the draw pile and then draw the same number of new cards. What? Oh! Oh! Once you have confirmed any adjustments you wish to make to your starting hand, both players have to select their starting active character at the same time. Take it out pronto! Let's see how you do this time. Remember, start by selecting your initial starting character. This will be interesting. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> There's one more thing I almost forgot. Every time you hit an end phase, you get to draw two cards from your action cards pile. Remember, you have to make use of both your elemental dice and your action cards to win. Gracias. 
Finish this swiftly. Adventure challenge. Genius invocation TC. That was quite the detailed explanation. What? What? Oh, when did you get here? I stepped in while you were in the middle of your explanation. I hope I didn't dampen the mood. What? What? You have slow reactions. Wait. Are you copying me? Shut up. <laughs> anyway, what are you doing here? The cat's tail is a player in the non-stats alcohol industry. Naturally, you have some collaboration with my winery. I'm here today to discuss a few items of business with Margaret. Mm, too bad she just left. But if you head off right now, you might still catch up with her. Never mind, it's nothing urgent. In fact, I think I'm no more interested in this card that you're using to teach them the game. Wait, this card? 
Ludicrous character card! Although I have some degree of experience with genius invocation, TCG, seeing this particular card is a first for me. Uh, a customer left it behind a few days ago, but he wasn't even playing the game while he was here. Oh? And what sort of a customer was he? Uh, he wasn't wearing an eye patch, okay? He had a light complexion and a super serious look on his face. He wasn't much of a talker and looked like he was just drinking his worries away. he never seen him around here before. Hmm. Eye patch, you say? I was trying to give the opposite description, but I just ended up giving it away. Sorry, guard captain. Don't worry. Somehow, I don't, I don't think, think he'll be giving you any trouble, Brett. So, what about the deal with character card? I don't mind. It's, it's just a card with my image, image on it. I didn't expect Deal to be familiar with Jimmy's invocation TCG. The game has been catching on lately. It's hard to go anywhere without hearing it mentioned. Every now and then, I'll sit down and play a game with the customers in Angel's Share. I was hoping we could play a game, but this issue of someone leaving a character card with my image of the cat's tail is... very intriguing. It's getting late, and someone has some explaining to do. We'll have to have that duel another time. Good. Then I'll take my leave. You know where the door is. Don't let the door hit you where Lord Barbado split you. Uh-oh. Guard Captain. I hope Kaya will be all right. Well, now that we are familiar with the rules, why don't we try playing a game of Genius and Vacation TCG? Ooh, two new players having their first ever duel. <laughs> This sounds like fun! But, in order to play an official duel, you need to have three character cards. Remember, a complete deck has to have three character cards and 30 action cards. Got it? Then, let's use my cards. These were mixed in with all the others I had received. And I didn't know what they were for at first. But now that we've learned the rules, I can see that this one must be the Sucrose character card. Now, it looks, looks like we each have the Kaya, Diluc, and Sucrose, Sucrose character, character cards. cards. So why don't we have our first duel? Alright, let's duel! You tried previously, duels are true tests of strength between two <laughs> players. In a duel, your opponent can also use action cards, and they'll also be able to grab new cards during an end phase. At the same time, your op <laughs> are you. I want to help. Here. Absorption test. Freeze. Okay.
Animal This will be interesting. Let's go. I'm not doing bread.
ready when you are. Character cards. The rules must be more complicated than I first thought. Every decision is a difficult trade-off in this game. If there was only a way to transplant the arms of the two standby characters onto the active character's body, that's not how the rules work, Psychros. Don't be a sore loser. That kind of thing is looked down on in TG circles. Oh, I'm sorry. I was being very square. I know that. I just can't stand losing. But it was a fun match. I didn't know you, you could get so competitive, Sucrose. I always get a little, little upset when I lose. It's like that with my research, research too. too. It always, it always gets, gets to me when my experiments don't go as planned. Especially when there's no PG as like a beta or to compare myself to. Uh, yeah, well, I don't think it's an experiment. But I'm pretty sure it's normal to feel that way. Playing cards is no different. Each game you lose makes you want to win the next one to settle the score. And the desire to win pushes you to improve your strategy and build a better deck. <laughs> build a better deck. <laughs> through a winning combination of luck, skill, and experience is where all the fun of Genius Invocation lies. But what if you keep trying and trying and never win a single game? 
A losing streak, uh, yeah. That'll definitely get you down. But it's way better to keep trying until you win than to just accept you're a plain old loser and give up. Hmm. You make a good point, Diona. Besides, Sucrose, you're already making great progress. It'd take at least eight of our regular booze hounds to match your level. He you played well this last match. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. I'm just, just a little disappointed, disappointed to lose, to lose that's all. But you need some to change the game. It's a really, really fun game. game. Good. Having fun is the main thing. thing. If you ever want to play in the future, the future feel, feel free, free to come by the cat sale. Uh, but don't, don't expect me to, to play with you. I just mean, this place only has the right atmosphere. I'll definitely be back. Alright, I think you should have all the basics, basics down, down by now. I need to get back, back to bartending. bartending. She is likely to be busy making his tower more popular with his delicious cocktails. Pooey, pooey, pooey. And we can't have that. that. Huh. Pooey must have wine in his ground and keeps me pretty busy, you know. So if you need any more help, go on and show you. Go on. I see. So you have now grasped the rules of Genius Invocation TCG. <laughs> That's right! The Travelers, Sucrose, and Paimon are TCG players now! Uh, Paimon picked it up from watching you and Sucrose. Becoming a TCG player is not as simple as that. You cannot call yourselves true TCG players until you have passed the test. Why don't you put them again? It's got to. Words from Prince there. But I'm afraid he's right. right. To become official players recognized by the genius invocation TCG society, you have to pass the test. It's just a tabletop card game. I'm not sure how you would plan on achieving something like that. Basically, to become an official and recognized TCG player, you have to best three opponents in a duel. So, you have to win three duels against three different opponents? The duel you just played can count towards this tally. I agree. Although I didn't get to observe the match myself, I did listen along, and from what I could hear, you both performed at a rather high level. Say what Prince says. A well trained player is a basic skill expected of anyone hoping to become a TCG master. But back to the matter at hand. The traveler only needs to be two more opponents to become an official TCG player. So cross, you may have lost the last duel, but don't be disheartened. I can assure you that winning three games is well within your ability. But first things first, Shu Yen. Before that, our TCG newcomers should receive their free gift. Ah oh, yes, my goodness. Completely slipped my mind. I'm lucky to have Prince here to remind me. Everyone who wants to start playing Genius Invocation TCG is entitled to claim a free casket of tomes. Oh, Shimei's mentioned it, didn't he? It was from the light novels he's been reading. The thing that the main character found in his attic. Oh, that's right! The song that the ancient TCG players trapped inside, right? So the casket of gold is actually real? <sighs> well... Actually, all card cases in Genius Invocation TCG are called Caskets of Tomes. Not only do they provide a reliable and sturdy container to... 
store your decks. They can also sense when other people in the area are also carrying a casket of tomes with them. The reason they can see each other is because they have the souls of GGGGG players inside. That would be an extraordinarily high number of people in history have been turned into disembodied souls as a consequence of playing card games. No. The real reason that it can sense other caskets is because it holds a nifty little mechanism invented by some Meru scholars. Darn! What a letdown. Cool! A different Alright, now let's see this casket of tongues already! All caskets of tomes are issued by Margaret, so you will need to see her to claim yours. Probably for the best. If Prince and I were responsible for handing them out, knowing how eager we both are to promote the game, we'd probably have dished them all out by now. Okay, so go and see Margaret to claim your casket of tomes, use it to find another player, beat them in a duel, and then come back here. But even a traveler, that's only two wins in total. What about the last one? I shall choose the final contestant she must beat in order to become an official TCG player. For it must be one of comparable prowess. Excellent plan, Prince. Happy dueling, both of you. Go, Clint Prince seems to have. Hi, hello, viewers. What is it? Let's go to Michael. tool indeed. deck that can even detect when someone else nearby is carrying one. Gosh, whoever invented this must have seriously disliked being alone. Yeah, well, even the most fun game is pretty lonely if you got no one else to play it with. 
true. So I'm glad that these customers, um, <coughs> TCG players, are able to congregate at the cat's tail. You're not wrong, but that's secondary. The important thing to me is the opportunity for like-minded people to come together and enjoy their favorite hobby. It creates a nice atmosphere. Anyway, now that you have your caskets of tomes, it's time to find some opponents. All right. In that case, I'll go find some people to play against, too. Let's meet back at the cat's tail in a while. Thanks. I'll do my best. This one is the problem Sorry, is there anything I can assist the two of you with? We want to become official Genius Invocation TCG players, but we have to pass the test first, so we need to be three players in a duel. Our casket of tomes led us to you. Oh, I see. Unfortunately, I'm on duty right now. I see you're serious about this. Very well. As a fellow TCG player, I cannot refuse an earnest invitation to duel. <sighs> so be it. Then let the duel begin. Oh, 
Gustong gusto ni ka.
kinain mo? Anong kinain mo? Anong kinain? Find it's poor, but I'm so one health. No thanks. The end for you. Switch ko ng charging socket. Finish this swiftly. This is Coco Mix. Thank <laughs> you. 
My God, yung Raya again, ito ka nga pala yun. Ito ka nga pala yun. Ito ka lang ito yung sanggiri ko. Gosh, I'm lost. You're remarkably good at this, considering how new to the game you are. Let's play again when you have some time. But ideally, not when I'm on duty. Huh. Okay. Yay! Now we have two victories under our belt. Let's get back to the cat's tail. Paimon wonders who Prince is going to pick as our final contestant.
sense that she had what it took to become an official TCG player, but she has returned to the tavern more quickly than I had expected. Defeat the opponent I have arranged for you, and you shall become an official TCG player. I look forward to watching this game immensely. Not just Prince. I can't wait either. Come, your opponent is waiting for you in one of the private rooms. That's what Prince said. Please enter and enjoy your genius invocation TCG duel. Freeze! <laughs> 
<laughs> this is but a small sacrifice necessary to achieve ultimate victory.
Traveler? Wow. 
me as a mere token of such. The to the victor of this splendid duel is a boon of commensurate splendor due. Oh, um, excuse me, excuse me, ma'am. I am also a beginner, but you two came so far. Might I also have the honor of doing a duel? If you would be willing, of course. Of course. Nothing would delight me more. I hereby grant you permission to join me in performing the hallowed rite of genius invocation. One other thing. One other thing. When I got back, when I got back, Prince and Shreya said there was something, something they needed to, give, to you. give you. If you manage to become an official TCG player. What card game in the world has a card like that? I'm inventing some kind of magic as an official TCG player. I have been by your side all along. I mean, I in, the mean game, in the game, Oz. Oz. Mm. Then, then, all you see is to, to invoke a large spirit. wind spirit. But, but deal damage when you carry some elements other than animal. Than animal. So, You are now officially recognized members of the Genius Invocation TCG community. Very well done. Now, I will explain to you what becoming an official TCG player entails. The first thing all new official TCG players receive is their TCG Player's Handbook. This handbook tells you exactly what you need to do to become a top-tier TCG player. Let me make sure you read it. Secondly, a range of genius invocation merchandise is now available for you to purchase here at the Cat's Tale. <laughs> so you see, becoming an official TCG player is really just the first step. And thirdly, and thirdly whenever you wish to play a game with a friend, you can use the, can use the invitation board, board there. Whoever you wish to duel against, simply invite them to the tavern for a game. Okay. Yes, yes, it's worked by the bar counter. The and once you get the hang of it, you can play with your whatever friends you whatever want. you want. No, That's really. it, really. If there's anything, if there's else, anything you else you didn't understand, quite understand, you can always, you can always come, and ask, come and ask me. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Quite I'm sure. quite sure. Hope you have, Hope you have fun. Thank you. 
Bye bye. After you gonna come in, Wow, wow.
Untouchable, 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 untouchable